I'm in Utah. I'm changing things up a little bit. I left the pickup camper at home in Michigan and uh, decided this time to do uh, car camping from a rented SUV. So I flew to Salt Lake City, rented an SUV and uh, drove down to Moab. I just set up camp. And uh, my first campsite is right, on, it's on Potash Road, right between the Colorado River and these looming cliffs that uh, are used for rock climbing. It is so windy here in the canyon today that there are white caps on the Colorado River. <laughs> I have my tent tied to the trees. petroglyphs that are a thousand years old probably at least some of them haven't held up too well to modern uh, influence that one's been shot to heck since I don't have the camper I don't have a stove I don't have any way to heat things and I'm not having a campfire I'm not cooking at all on this trip it's car camping, two weeks of car camping, and I'm buying my food at fast food places, restaurants, and gra uh, gas stations, buying deli sandwiches and stuff like that. Yep. Well, every day I'm heading a little farther down the Colorado River, still uh, 200 miles upstream from the Grand Canyon, but I had... Uh, around the bend and off the end of Potash Road, which is paved, and uh, head out to Schaefer Trail, which is off the end of the pavement, and maybe look for a place like Thelma and Louise Point. That seems like a good jumping off point for the day. So way up there, there is an overlook at Dead Horse Point State Park. And a half a million visitors come there every year. And they all look down and take pictures of the canyon lands and they see this road down here and they go, wow, look, there's a road down there. I wonder what that is. Well, it's this, the Schaefer Trail. Back down to camp. It's almost dark. Wow, did it get cold last night. I was plenty warm enough in the sleeping bag and everything, but this morning it's really cold. I'm gonna head into Moab for a hot breakfast, and then I'll be uh, 
heading to a hike-in site a long way off in the wilderness. I'm on a hike to my uh, hike-in campsite for the night, four miles in, and then four miles back out tomorrow. It's a beautiful, uh, uh, I got hoodoo country. Yeah, it's hoodoo country. Okay, looks like we're gonna drop down into a crack here for a bit. Stopping for a little bit of supper. I've got an hour and a half before nightfall to get to my camp. This trail is ranked strenuous. It's that and, and then some. Grueling. Up and down over ridges. Climb up over a ridge down the other side. Wow. It's a lot of work. Well, I found Chesler Park. What I haven't found is the campsites. So, I got to about 20 minutes of daylight, maybe half hour. I'm just gonna have to find a spot. Well, I'm still a mile or so from my campsite and the problem is, I mean, a mile I can do in a few minutes, except it, well, it's, it's hiking up and down. It's just worn me down. I'm almost four miles from the trailhead from my vehicle and I'm worn out. So I found this quiet little spot down here right under this huge tower. And that's where I'm gonna set up for the night. I'm saving half of my Subway sandwich for breakfast. I'm uh, almost four miles from my car and uh, I have water and Gatorade for, for breakfast and some jerky, uh, crackers. I got lots of fuel to get back to the car, especially if I save half of this for breakfast. Wow, what a grueling hike out here. But look at my backdrop, that's pretty badass. able to get the campsite I wanted at Valley of the Gods. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to find a level spot to put the tent. I have the tent tied down to rocks.
Looks like I'm gonna have neighbors tonight, about a quarter mile away. Over there. It is dead calm and dead quiet at Valley of the Gods. Beautiful morning. My Mountain Dew chilled a little bit last night. It didn't get real cold, but mm, cold enough. This is Muley Point. It is uh, at the edge of Cedar Mesa. It's a thousand foot drop down to the plateau down there. And then another thousand feet down to the San Juan River. I had the wheels blocked last night and the parking brake on because uh, I'm parked on a bit of a slope and I'm uh, not too far from a thousand foot drop off. Driving around Monument Valley this time. And all these tourists standing in the road getting their pictures standing on the middle of the road. Today I'm at Lee's Ferry, which is a wide spot in the canyon where you can drive right down to Colorado River. And um, it might be the last one before the Grand Canyon. So the, the cliffs are about three, 400 feet high maybe, and uh, the Colorado River keeps descending. This is a put-in takeout spot for uh, Grand Canyon, uh, or Colorado River rafting, and uh, right up there. There's a kind of a calm spot where the river gets wide and calm. And then you put in your raft there and right away the rapids start in right here. You know what kind of weathering processes do this, right? You got the hardest layer of rock top but what's under it is softer layers and they erode eventually the top breaks off in boulders they tumble down here come to a stop and the same process starts working on them where the softer rock underneath erodes and this becomes a cap rock that protects the pedestal and there's a whole bunch of them here didn't know, now you know. Hey, cool. There's a fossilized lake bottom right there. See the stone ripples? 
I like these guys can do attitude. Grow and thrive in a harsh desert environment with no water for days and weeks at a time. Yeah, we can do that. In fact, here, we'll blossom for you with little delicate yellow flowers. Wow, is this beautiful. Lone Rock Campground, part of the Glen Canyon National Recreation Area. Since it's a federal park, I got in free with my senior pass. It's right on the shore of Lake Powell. Today I'm hiking into a slot canyon called Buckskin Gulch. I love the names, the old, old west type names they give to these uh, locations. Buckskin Gulch, uh, Coyote Gulch, Williams Bottom, Gold Bar. Yeah, cool. Should be a fun day. This is how the hike down Wire Pass begins. Just walk down the wash on the way to Buckskin Gulch. Well, I've walked just over a mile down the stream bed here, and it looks like I'm entering the slot now, Slot Canyon. Looks like I'm coming to the confluence of Wire Pass and Buckskin Gulch. So I have reached Buckskin Gulch in about 45 minutes. Heading downstream into Buckskin Gulch and it's pretty bouldery here. Buckskin Gulch, guys. The light's really good here at uh, about 11 o'clock in the morning. Last night I stayed at State Line Campground. It's uh, managed by the Bureau of Land Management. And uh, each campsite has a pavilion over a picnic table and the camping is free. I mean, this is just really nice. And it's in a rugged country uh, near the trailhead of uh, Wire Pass, the Slot Canyon. Okay kids, how many colors from your crayon box are in this rock strata? It dropped to 34 degrees last night up here at Oak Creek National Forest Campground. Up on the mountain somewhere between Boulder and Torrey, Utah. And, uh, up here on the higher elevations, it's full on autumn.